And greetings, everyone, and welcome to the campus of San Diego State University. I am Matt Holman, alongside my partner tonight, Mikey Diggs. What do you think, Coach? It's beautiful, Jefferson Lacrosse. Never go out to dinner before you broadcast, people. <laughs> and if you do, keep it light. <laughs> we did not do that, so. <laughs> what you may have here is a food coma announcing going on here. Listen, man, I believed you when you said you had the spot. I just didn't know it was going to be like that. That's all. But it was like that. So the first quarter might be quiet, folks, but we apologize. So here we are. We have San Diego State, the overall record of 7-0 and and 3-0 in the conference. This is a SLC conference game, playoff implications. And then we have the USC Trojans, overall record of 4-9, and and one and four in the conference. And they are in a must win situation to get into the SLC playoff tournament, or tournament, excuse me, which is four teams of the eight make it. So that's what makes these games so exciting throughout the year. As Mikey, as I educated you on that, as we learn more. Uh, what are your thoughts? You talked to Coach Van Nostrand. Yeah, it's never the situation you want to be in. You never really want to be, you know, in a in a must win situation. You never want to be in a situation where, you know, you're you're counting on other teams to win or lose. You you want to you want to control your own destiny here. But sometimes when your back's against the wall like that, that's when you play your best game. You know, you're on the road. You know, sun setting in a beautiful part of your own state. You know, USC make a trip down here. Um, I think it's going to be a good game. Obviously, you know, San Diego State's coming in here undefeated. Um, they've looked good all season. So. I think we can expect to see a battle. Um, it just depends on, you know, not to use a cliche, but how bad USC wants it. Yeah, that, I, I believe that to be true. Uh, Coach did tell us he's, you know, the team suffered some, some catastrophic injuries. Hopefully those men will be back next year. San Diego State's coming off a week off, which is a rarity where you take your actual spring break off the whole time. So Never heard of that. Yeah. As a lacrosse player, definitely yeah, never heard of that. I've never had a spring break. I've never gone on a spring break trip. <laughs> Have you ever? I have, but lacrosse was involved. We oh, we well, played on our no spring no breaks. okay. I've done that, but I've never done like spring break. Like, no, that's you know, not a thing. Like, not not thing as a lacrosse whatever. player. Yeah. No, spring break is when you play games. Yep, yep. So that was that was uh, interesting to hear that that's what they did. So we'll see how that turns out. Either you got healthy or you got lazy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Really, a uh, really tough break here for USC. You said they're out with some injury problems. What was it like four broken hands this season or four, something like just that? Just four broken hands among muscle pulls. And I think, I think coach said he had 19 injuries. That's insane. Um, and they have a team close to, to, to like the Aztecs, like 50 players. So you can, you, you can clearly see the sideline counts are down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and like I said, hopefully all those young men will return. Here we are opening face-off. Let's get going. 
And a reminder, our game clock is unofficial. It is not 119 minutes. There we go. USC comes up with the opening draw right down the middle. And get a quick one. And I don't know if that plays into, like, your on spring break, but and I didn't get a number on that goal. Let's check the replay here. Oh, just a lot of stick swinging right there by San Diego State. Good dump. Yeah, that's flat in the middle. Attackman number 12 there. Freshman, right place, right time. Gotta love that. one nothing start. And unfortunately, Alex is from Colorado, but we don't have his high school, so we can't give his high school a shout-out, but... I want to shout out the USC uh, face-off guy on that last one, coming up with one early and taking it straight to the straight to the hole, making the right play. And I like how he just kept cradling, running down, everyone swinging their sticks at him, just kept his feet moving. Yep. And that's the kind of thing, like you said, a week, a week off. I don't know. Get that smack in the face early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see how they react. You know, it's 7-0, 3-0 in conference. I... Uh, They've probably seen their fair share of challenges, so I, I have no doubt that they're gonna right. they're gonna take that as a little wake up call and be like, okay, you got one. We're gonna get the next one. It is a beautiful evening, the sun is setting. It it's finally starting to feel like spring, even though we're all bundled up up here because we're on top of a windy garage spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice Woo! shot. Jeez. A little step down heater from Joey Gazertek. Number two, you say that right? Desert, yes, Desertek. See the replay here. I like how he notices right here. He goes, wait a minute, I got a shot. Yeah. <laughs> USC's defense was already playing their next rotation. And right. Oh, there's another look at it. Got caught cheating. Got a double look. I like it. Oh, nice work. Ted Mary on the cameras today doing a great job. And as always, TVX Video bringing you this production tonight on the SLC Network. We appreciate them. And also Rick, in the, back in the home office of Prodigy Media, making this all work for us. So all tied up at one here. And that's Blake Roper winning another faceoff for USC. He's going to be key in keeping them in the game, it looks like. We'll try to keep count. So that's two to one, right, for faceoffs? Yes. Looks like both teams are content to come out of the box running a bit of a 2-3-1 look. Oh, nice fake. The wings and Beautiful move it. fake. 18 from 7. It's very well executed. A little sweep over the top. They go adjacent. They just keep, move, keep on moving the ball right around. You got An Antony Moats? Yeah, An Antoine Moats. Oh, you would say Antoine. My bad. Put my glasses on. <laughs> Looks mildly French. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize to the Moats. Oh. USC is, is playing for its playoff life here. You can tell. They got some fire. Yeah, great hit by Roper on that faceoff. Guess he wasn't uh, wasn't too happy about losing the clamp there, which I can't blame him. You know, physical game. It's okay to knock somebody over. We got to get these lights on. It's gonna get dark fast. Oh, unforced errors will get you every time. USC on the clear. Yeah, it's interesting to see um, both of both of these teams running uh, the same S offensive set. Offense, yeah, yeah, they yeah. both run in two, three ones, and they both they're, they're both looking for sweeps. Uh, I think it's going to be a matter of you know which defense has uh, has prepared for a, a look out of that set that's a little different than the one they practice against every day. Here's a little pressure by the Aztec D extending itself out while USC is subbing. There, oh. oh, it was there. I started to say there's another open look on the crease. Yeah, Brian Little definitely wants that one back. A little too tall. Randall. Hey, 
Mac Clear works out great for San Diego State. go. Hallmark of a 2-3-1. They'll take the shorty out to the wing. Early slide. Whew, mm. Beautiful stroke That's right there. Excellent offense. Excellent. Seth Gummall. Gummell, excuse me. Gummall, excuse me. Aztec faithful already chirping the goalie. Yeah, very, very, uh, very efficient pop off the crease there. It's kind of a methodical offensive play, would you say? They just yeah, they dodge, back dodge in the wing, send yeah. it to X. Person who is on the crease just pops out for that step down look, and it worked out perfectly as Roper wins yet another face off. Yeah, they're gonna want to. They're gonna want to rest him and use him this game. Gonna have a little bit of a uh, little nighttime lacrosse special if they don't turn the lights on here pretty soon. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking at the staff down here. I'm sure it's on a timer of some sort. And he is on the radio, so hopefully he'll get that squared away. Ooh. That was a close one. Flat almost had his second of the day off the off the feed, a little dip and dunk. San Diego State figures out the last second. Ooh, great takeaway if they can just get this ball up. There we go. Didn't get any numbers on those, but it was a very well executed. Uh, there's the lights. Very well executed double here in the top corner. Gives USC back the ball. Tied up 2-2. Two -two. I thought that was an attackman riding him over the line. I'm like, he's clearly offside. <laughs> <laughs> D midi hustling. Good job. I feel like they should change the over and back rules, like half court and basketball. Like as soon as you get over, it's in effect. Never really loved that it was. Oh, you yeah. got to touch it in the box for it to be an over in the back. Over well, now back. you don't have to touch it in the box. It's just the timing. It's 60. So we were 80 second shot clock. Once mm -hmm. it hits 60, then the over and back is in play. Oh, okay. That's yeah, what it is. That's the nuance. Okay. Yep. yep. So it's an 80 second shot clock for those of you watching. So goalie clear saves it. You'll see the referee reset 80 seconds. So they got 20 seconds. You can do whatever you want, over back, whatever. And then once it hits 60, you'll see the referees give a hand signal saying we're under, and now it's in effect. But yeah, growing up and playing when you didn't have a shot clock <laughs> you <laughs> crossed the line and that was that <laughs> Ooh. oh my with the with the personal foul excellent pull from Thomas White from Portland Oregon running the point on that play and they are going to yeah it's a personal foul so that USC will serve that one minute penalty that's an excellent one more from Ooh. Thomas Como Jeez. Como had all the rights in the world to step into that when he sees a flag on the ground. Instead, he makes the very heady one more to the freshman run on the point. So you got a slash call on USC. They will face off man down. That open wing play. I thought the I thought the slash call was a little soft, Matt. He got he got his visor, but that's why we're wearing helmets, right? I don't see the big deal. <laughs> we're wearing helmets. Anytime you graze the head, you got it. You're gonna get a flag. Uh, I might get that one in my pocket. <laughs> Call it a brush. A right, well, he, you can, you know, when the goal scored, you can say, "Oh, I had a push." You know, you can default back to that. But that one was sweet chin music. So, yeah, if I was the player, I might have been calling for it. But yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, if you were the aggrieved party. <laughs> <laughs> USC will go right into their man down. I know this is off topic, but we have a beautiful sunset that we're staring at right now. It's very Jeez. nice. Karen oh, might not have oh. it, but good pull. Ooh. 
It's a man up goal. That was number seven, if I saw that right. No, that's, that's number one. Oh, number one. Sorry. Thank you. That's Matt Fowler, senior midfielder. Go up 4 2. A very simple movement. He just kind of picks a spot. He's like yeah. 14 from top middle. I like it. I don't think we need to keep spinning. And you just said it. The last two goals from San Diego State have been straight on. Yeah. All, and that gives you all the cage to shoot at. Yeah. You know, that's tough for a goalie. Oh, look at this lucky check. Oh. And that's Riley Booth on the uh, faceoff win there. Not sure what that was. It was that a pack of wild hyenas going by? It sounded like <laughs> seagulls came a little too far inland or something. But just, it's I think it's just the San Diego State fans. Strangest thing I've ever heard. That was, a, that was a really weird rebound. That clearly hit a pipe. Now they're off to the races. Looks like a 54 break. And they make the smart play. Pull it right on out. I guess I should have had some caffeine. Caffeine always helps. Folks, if you ever get over to San Diego State area, well, it's just San Diego in general, Chris's Ono Grinds on 30th Street. I think that was 30th and Monroe. That's some of the best Hawaiian food I've had on the mainland. There you go. There's your plug, Chris's Ono Grind. We did. Oh, there's a goal. There it is. That's Dylan Pitt saying, you got to slide to me, and if you don't, that's what happens. <laughs> right on down the alley takes a long pull they figure they don't need to go hedge doesn't go all the way bouncer low and away that'll go, that'll go bouncers will go ladies and gentlemen dylan's playing like he was trying to get into usc from redondo beach and didn't get in so he's you know you gonna let him know <laughs> you gonna let him know <laughs> oh that was funny I get a it's funny a good one California every once joke. in a while. Yeah. It's, it's a good California joke. If you joke. live down here, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you folks may not understand sorry, that. Sorry, non-Californians. Yeah. But that was a good joke. I'm sorry you didn't get L it. L.A. and San Diego might as well be two different states. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You're talking about NorCal SoCal. I'm talking about L.A. San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Different worlds, man. And we don't even mention Orange County because they don't. Because really why? <laughs> they got to pick a side. They got to pick a side. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Oh, just a healthy little rivalry. Here we go. <laughs> USC's got good motion in their offense right now. They just need to connect the dots. You know, that would have been a good look if they had, you know, skipped that through to the point, got a one more to the backside. They'd have got the look they wanted. They'd have been going from the short that's going right, defending the ball right now. That would have been going from the wing. Oh, that's a push. That's an easy call. Your teammate has the ball, no reason. Maybe a little frustrated. State will clear the old short stick. Do it yourself clear? I guess not. <laughs> uh oh. I was just thinking, and he threw the worst pass you could throw to a long pole. Make it bounce in front of him. <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, and they run it out. No, they don't. They don't quite get there. Wow. Oh, that's a coach's nightmare. You get a freebie like that and settle for the 12 yard shot, no backup. Yeah, he'll hear about that in film. That's okay though. I like going I like going to the cage there, so no fault going to the cage. So coming up on five minutes to go in this first quarter, five ten to be exact. San Diego State Aztecs in the home white. Trojans visiting Oh, that's outside. outside. That is outside. Can't believe no one fell for that. It's a, it's a very smart, educated crowd. Yeah, here. I guess so. Nobody yelled. Us nobody, usually nobody. that gets people every time. Yep. Oh, timeout Trojans. Okay. So 4.39 to go in the first quarter. USC is taking its first timeout. And with that, we will step away, and we'll be right back in about 45 seconds.
All right, that's a USC timeout. We're waiting for them to break the huddle. USC will have the ball, 4.39 to go in the first quarter. Matt Holman alongside Mikey Diggs. Mikey, uh, you know, we've seen some set offense. We've seen some skip miss passes. Typical first quarter, it looks like, you know, feeling it out. Yeah, typical first quarter. I think USC has their, I think they have their motion down. They just need to get the, uh, get the passes on. They've, they've missed a couple of easy looks. Uh, one to the point on a throwback. Um, one across for a step down shot and then one to the crease. So that's potential three shots on case that they're missing. Could um, be a tie game. Yeah, yep. could be could be tie game if they were shooting should get on all those. Oh, that looked like he was halfway between a shot and a pass. Yeah, and it didn't look like he put much of this shot at a stick. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there, Brian Little. Th I thinking too much? Uh, yeah, think yeah. a little too much about what this should should this be a pass to the crease? Should I bang it to X? Should I shoot it? Should I shoot it? No look. And then that's what happens. Happens to the best of us. It's funny because you'll say, don't think, just do in lacrosse. And everyone will go, what do you mean? I got to think. You're like, no. When you start thinking, that split second. Yeah. Firmly agree. Yeah. You just got to do. And then do it, do it to your fullest ability and then, you know, live with the results. San Diego State, oh, they were in an open set. They, okay, there they go, right back in there, 2-3. That's outside. Ooh. That one fooled them. Yeah, There's there we go, one. that one got them. <laughs> they saw that step, they saw that step, and they wanted yeah, it to be good. Yeah. That's okay. The net flickers, and everyone, ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, Juan, Juan will get his, but uh, that, one, that one was not going to go. In the games we've seen, he's good for two or three. Yeah, definitely. No doubt. Nothing against USC, but, I mean, we just, we've, yeah, 53 and white is like that. We, we're we're going to see him shoot a couple more of those. Too. Right. And no favoritism, fans. We just happen to live two miles from here, so we can do these games yeah, a lot totally. easier. Well, anybody who knows me knows I don't mind a good road show, but I haven't had to go to Orange County this season, so I actually kind of like it. Tried to, tried to swear off the Saturdays. Spending eight hours to broadcast a game and drive back in traffic. Yeah, that round of the five is brutal. Oh, right there. Oh. See, there they go. They have that. They have the rotation down. They had State's defense where they wanted them. Couldn't connect the dots. Let's see them go again here. Oh, nice deflection right there. Tackling got lucky. Just oh, gotta be red. Stick out. Gotta be red on that one. <laughs> classic, classic pole misses the two easy ground balls and then <laughs> picks up the circus one. <laughs> the heck of a GB right there. Escaping pressure. Friday night flare points. Gotta love those. He's gotta have his dorm here. So come check me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, San Diego State's coming out in their new look. They got a one for one look. They'll pop from the crease. There we go. Right back in it. Swinging around. I know they were looking to get a short stick right there, but. Oh, come right back to that top, man. Ooh. They'll, they'll probably keep looking for it here. You know, Huang's got the short stick. Oh, there's the switch they were looking for. Yeah, you can't give it up now. That was a nice initial check. <laughs> kind of knocked the stick out of his yeah. hand and Kate got it back. Oh, nice good save. shot. Great save. Yeah. That's Ooh. Caleb Ells in there in goal. Freshman from New York. Oh, he's pumped, too. He's oh, that's off swinging white. the arms. That's off white. Oh, USC can attack from the box side here. Here they go. Great shot. That's it. Yeah, yeah that'll it. go. Take a look at that replay. It's Antoine Motes again. Yeah, USC had a uh, they had a great opportunity off that ground ball. It was a six on five ground ball with uh, last one streaking in from the box. 
I do believe that was uh not sure if Moats came in from the box right there, but uh you know the six man was definitely box side and they, they had him going, so blow it down to go two on one right there and they exploited it, got the goal. Five three. And again, our time is unofficial. We do have about 35 seconds on my mark. 35 seconds to go this first quarter. Oh. See if the Aztecs push it here a short time. Oh, and they Ooh. do. It's a pretty shot. Gotta love that. Was that 18? Or 16. 16. 16. Brian DeVito. Gotta love the confidence there. You, know, you got 30 seconds. Everyone's aware of the situation. Coach is doing short time. So, hey, it seems like a, a player that's that's got the green light when he wants it. And, you know, I love a nice, confident shot from the alley when you got it. You know what I like about that shot is that he just cradled it regular and shot in motion. Didn't bring it back far. He didn't say, hey, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. He just didn't need just to. run and just boom. Didn't need to from the wrist. Quick sneak attack. USC has time here. Five seconds. Let that rip. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. What a pull. Five with five. That's Hetrick from Roper. Mill Valley Redwood High School. Harry Hittrick just floats right oh, behind like the defender. He, yeah, I like how it crossed, too, yeah. from his left to right. Take another look at this. Look how the ball moves left to right for the goalies, guessing the wrong. Oh, hesitated yep. to the right. Well, an exciting end of the first quarter. 6-4 ball game. We're going to get a quick drink of water. We'll be right back with a second quarter action here at San Diego State. 6-4 in favor of the home Aztecs. After one. Just fade it out. Fade it out. All right. We are back here at San Diego State. Matt Holman alongside Mikey Diggs. Just talking about your at Diggs tape fame. Yeah. And uh, maybe we'll get a few through the old clips. We should get some from the beginning when you first started. Okay. See how you progressed. Yeah. You know, like one one a year. What do you do it for? Two years straight? Three years straight? Something like that. Yeah, two years or so. I'm older, so time goes fast. So right. Might have been, <laughs> might have been like six, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, not picking on you. So let's see here what changes or adjustments are made. All 
all three of San Diego State's polls, close defensemen, I'll say to people that don't know, have the green light to go down and run a break. Did you notice that? I love all that. All three of it. All three of them. I love that. Always love playing on uh, Two on are teams. definitely way more ready to go all the time, and their long pole midi is just about down there every second it can be. So USD still in a man-man. Oh, nice check. Look at that last check gave him the little dead arm on that mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had a half that'll a step up. mess up your shot motion. Yeah. He had half a step on him. But oh, who ate that? I think it was the midi, no? Risky pass. I might have made that a bounce pass. Oh, good one more. Oh, that's a great one more. Booth was looking at him like, hey, man, you got to hit that next time. <laughs> He's like, you took my assist <laughs> yeah, away. Shoot that overhand. Give me that assist it? back. <laughs> Ooh, tough ground ball from USC. Got to have those. Smoke's telling everybody, hey, let's let's slow it down. Let's get back in our shape. Get our spacing back. That's a move. Yep. Oh, nice shot. Good take. Good take. Just got to be on cage. Little's been open for a couple of shots today. Just waiting for him to bury one of his good looks. I think it's like his second or third great look of the day. Great, great stick. To knock that one down, but uh, Hetrick gets it, gets his own rebound. Oh, nice step! Ooh. Good hesitation. Is that his third? That is his third that I have. Great take by Moats. Six-five ball game. And don't look now. Six-five. Right here. I'm gonna pass. No, I'm not. Oh, yep. He decided <laughs> to take it, take advantage of that angle and no slide. Well, bad angle by the defenseman and his angle that he had right there. As soon as he took a step. Yeah, the poles in white and on the inside were not happy about that. They didn't reestablish the uh, the slide quick enough when that ball bounced back, bounced back there. That's gonna be a hold. Yep. USC ball off the hold coming on the face off. Six five, like I said at the top of the game, all comes down to how bad USC wants it, and with the with the mistakes they've been making, hitting their singles on offense, still a one goal game. Yeah, but the, a lot of and some are mistakes, but just like not catching it is a mistake. But that kind of stuff falls as the game wears on too, mm -hmm. you know. Because you're right, you counted three goals that we all saw in that first quarter, or three potential goals, I'll say. Guys are wide open and just missing the catch. Oh. USC looking very patient on this possession. See if they can get another ground ball to extend. Ah. Yeah, we're going to push. Yeah. yeah. We pushed him. Contrary to what the partial San Diego State crowd might say. Forgivably partial. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got a good USC contingent here, but. Ooh, that's off the pipe. Hedrick doing his plus best to play open field goalie there. I don't think the USC followers were at happy hour, though, before this. <laughs> they had a bit of a drive, so they had to be careful. That's Evan Dean on the on the ground ball for San Diego State, getting it up and out. San Diego State's doing a great job clearing today. Mid is getting up now, a lot of space being created. Well, you'd hope so after a week off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that had, that pipe or piping out, yeah, piping out, yeah, never went in. 
would have been. Would well, have believe been a me, great I'm not one to argue take. that a, a ball hits a pipe and is a goal, and it comes out like people. Ah, it's got to be a goal. I'm like, why? It came yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I always want to remind folks. I'm like, it's a round pipe. Ooh. Oh. Good Rich got a little too excited about there? that yeah. that Reggie Bush style juke he just put on, son. See if he can get out. Ooh, tough battle both ways. And that's great a, t a help by the attack too. And that's that's Moats. He was uh, he was definitely not going to take no for an answer on that one. I was kind of concerned that I didn't see a USC player running over to help him though either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's kind of like, yeah. uh, he's on his own out there. <laughs> they probably just knew he'd get loose. They know he's like that. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Another, are we just going Pipe City here? Good hustle on the run out. Yeah. Oh, run for the fans. Demolished the pipe on that one. I like to say the ball got small on that one when it hits the pipe. And it yeah. And contracts. Great patience. Oh, good save. Yeah, he's coming. He's warming up. Yeah, K Bell's in there, getting warm. LaSalle, LaSalle Institute out of Slingerland, New York. I have to get my night light out over here. Shout out to the other SLC coaches watching, complimenting us and TVX video. The whole package, it's a package deal. You get one, you get five. <laughs> TVX is up here training the next generation, which is always nice. <laughs> Quick restart, no running starts. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> Action. What a great what a great Another, way to oh. find the ball. Oh, and they slap shot Ooh. it. Great goalie play. Yeah, great, and great play a, by Ells to find that off the pipe. He's a freshman getting all this time, and I don't know, and I'd ha I'd have to ask coach after the game. Was he the starter or did he get did the starter get hurt? Yeah, you know, without, he said he had eighteen injuries, and I'm not trying to downplay his play or anything. But uh, my, well, my point is that this is what we were talking about the, at dinner. USC is probably a 45, 50 team roster, and we're only seeing like 30 dressed because of the injuries. Uh -huh. They won their the Division One last year in the SLC, so the fall off is noticeable. But like, you're getting freshman time like this. Yeah, kid's gonna be a stud. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, like, he, you just can't. Now you got competition in practice uh, next year. Yeah, that's gonna make that's gonna make him better for next year. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a great pull. Because I can just tell by his body language. Yeah. You know, he, he's, <laughs> very he's relaxed, doing very that. Springy. The chest is puffed out, yeah. you know. And he's, yeah, he's springy. That's a good way to put it. And he's a lefty, which you know as well as I do. Nobody likes a lefty goalie. <laughs> oh. And we don't say that trying to be mean, folks. It's just that most woo, goalies are, right, a lot of them predominantly are right-handed. So... When you see a lefty goalie as a player, you have to, first or second shot, you're like, oh, yeah, i got to adjust my shot. This is a whole other way to shoot. And take us through that replay, Mikey, as we... I think Jeffrey Huang's a little like me, though. I think he likes lefties because he's a righty. And as a righty, that's my off pipe. He goes stick side on that one from 15 yards. Great take. Just a simple bang it to the point. Go, go behind the double. Yeah, that'll go. That's his range, though. If 15 is your range, yeah, you got to get out on hands with a dude like him. Yep. But I think he's like me, man. I've always liked lefty goalies because uh, my dodge growing up was a righty alley dodge. So if I'm going back pipe, there's no stick over there. I always like that. So you didn't go right and left is what you're saying. <laughs> it, was just, it was just more incentive to stick to my right. Just oh. One time. Oh. oh, USC gets caught ball watching right there. 
I have to watch the replay because I was about to blow Fong my nose. Fong picks out his homie. It's Brian DeVito come behind the play. USC just cut, gets caught ball watching a little bit. DeVito cuts the crease. He came clearly backside. Puts it home. Came all the way across the formation. Yeah. I think Huang was waiting for that, too. He, he was waiting for something like that to happen. Those little, oh, you see his face mask? He, it was a no look. That's why That's why the like ball a, watching was, like was so a baby effective. Look, yeah, 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 yeah. He had him out of the corner of his eye. It was just <laughs> yeah. enough to keep the defense frozen, which is all he wanted. He was waiting for his teammate to cut, and he did. And now you feel the momentum shift for the Aztecs. So for those of you all watching at home that are trying to learn good lacrosse from this game, even when it looks like your teammate's not looking at you, just cut. Just keep running. Just run to space. Cut to space. Ooh, you're you touching on know. something now because you see a lot of young players take two steps and they stop their cut. Can't. And, like, you have to cut you gotta through. you got to keep going. If, if I'm going to throw it to you, I'm waiting for you to keep going. That, that's what that's what gets you open. I see you. Just keep going. And I'll referee and I'll hear, you know, you'll hear it goes, cut through. And the cut through is two steps. Like, that's not a cut through. That's not through <laughs> or cut. Oh, good take. Yeah, that was on. I wasn't going to get that one. You but. got an extra ball in the field. There we go. It's just like a dodge. You don't dodge two steps and stop. Just keep running. You only need a smidget of space to shoot the ball. Especially when you got a good feeder back there. Oh, here's another. Oh. 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 Oh, good save. Good save. Good, good. Good pickup on go. that. You see oh. get that up and out. Oh, impressive yeah. clear. Mm -hmm. Got a 44 to see if they force One it. More. No way. Oh, oh he got it in there. Oh, dish. he almost had it in there. Holy <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yeah, most, most that was a that was a great dish right on his stick. If he catches it, that's turning rake. Yep. Uh, aren't the Aztecs offside there? I did not think that dish was going to go through. That was uh, kind of crazy. Yeah, they're offside. Okay. Referee guys, sometimes you got to count twice. USC's offside by, oh, never mind, they were subbing. SDSU was off big time. Oh, they got a trickle. That's Charles Messman in there. Goal is good, yeah, wipe it off. SDSU was off over here. The defenseman on the backside just stood on the 40. <laughs> Whoops. He was watching, and then he, like, runs out. Wrong like, number. He shouldn't be over the field. That's Messman, US, USC. Messman sees the uh, sees the flag down and goes just squeaks it in right by Els' near near side, near pipe foot. So nine, I missed three goals. I got cold. I stopped writing. <laughs> it's actually very dark. Oh, because we, I keep thinking, why is it so dark? Because we were here during the day the last couple of games. No, go is, down is another face-off win for Roper. This is getting rather physical. Oh, yeah, goalie ball. Yeah, most wants that one back. Well, he's trying to stop the momentum, you know. Yeah. Go off face-off, you got to try to stop the momentum. Right, if I, got, if I had three goals in the first half, I'm probably going to shoot that too. Yeah. Well, it was, it was no sooner that we, we were commenting on USC and their goalie and Body language, and all of a sudden, Aztecs take that. They felt that, I guess, too, and took the momentum right back. So, gotta like the ebb and flow on a Friday night, folks. Speaks to why the team's seven and zero. It's almost like we just will goals to happen. Thirty-one, right? Yep. Dylan Pitts, I have that for a second one. Redondo, Redondo Beach product. Yeah, Dylan Pitts. Top center on a short stick. I'll just take my strong hand. Oh, right over the defenseman. Yes. Perfect screen. Slides just late. Yeah, you can't yeah. You can't meet a guy who's got his shoulder square at eight yards. Nope. You got to meet him a little higher than that. Especially when the dodge starts up at the 40, you want to meet him at about 15. Only got about half the distance he needed. He was in their tag team with another pole and that attackman. Got to talk through that one. Figure out who's going. Meet him at 15. Coach Ben Ostrin calls a timeout, I believe. Was it? Yep, timeout for USC. With that, we can step away here. That was USC's t second timeout. Step away, and we'll be right back.
And we're back live from San Diego State. <laughs> Timeout was called. Score is 10 to 5. Home team, San Diego State over USC. It's our Friday night jam right here. Oh, it's yeah. our Friday night. Woohoo. Good Friday night for me. Some free lacrosse. Hey, you know what? Good Friday to all you folks out there, too. And happy Easter to everyone. Ah, yes. At least we forget. Actually, Good Friday. Let's, uh, do we have the, uh, do you have the Twitter handle? If you want to put that up. Actually, if you want to try to uh, send a question in, I'll see if I can put the old glasses on and you can ask me a question. You can ask Mikey Diggs a question. And we'll try to answer them. Let's see. Just tweet us at that SLC lacrosse. I don't go on Twitter enough, though, Mikey, to even. Yeah, that platform's not for the weak, so. <laughs> okay, okay. You just called me. It's not for, no, it's not for the weak. It's not for the weak heart. It's for those that are committed. Okay, here as, uh, as Roper As Roper wins another face-off here. You can handle kind the of a machine. <laughs> I just yeah. don't know where, if someone's sending a tweet to us, does it come in under mentions or where does it come in under? All? That. Yeah, all will show you. Okay. So yeah, if you want to tweet at us, we'll try to we'll try to address your your point, your question. As long as it's a decent question. Because we will make fun of you. State gets a stop. Let's see if their pristine clearing game works to their advantage. And here they do here they, here it does. Oh, did that hit him? Yeah, it did. Oh, and he was going for the Dayhaws dunk. Didn't quite get there. He had it dangling a little too long. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, in there, everybody had a shot at that one. You know, the interference call, you could hear that, I think. Referee Beckman on the call. Former MCLA athlete there. Player, I guess. Players are athletes, right? Come on, fire away a tweet. I'm all fired up over here to get a question. At SLC Lacrosse. Oh, that's an <laughs> ambitious shot from one yard high. Look at our first question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to have to come back to that one in the second half. we got to get through the first half. Producers are people, too. <laughs> I wanted us to know that. All right, uh, USC is coming out in an, either a modified 2-2 two -two or a 2-3. Oh, they're back to a 2-3. Yeah, and State's all over the look. He's about, I was about to say he's about to draw a foul. All these well, one-handed checks after him. Yeah, Tyler Brown knows what he's doing with that six-foot stick. Kind of got through three cats right there. So far, it, it appears to me, as an observer of the MCLA, that the Aztecs aren't reading their news clips. You know, you get like undefeated all of a sudden, like, oh, we're too good. You know what I mean? Almost being undefeated is like the worst thing sometimes for, for certain teams. Yeah, sometimes you got to get humbled. Yeah. But uh, we'll see what happens with State today. Yeah, they still got a lot of, lot of game left. Under the two-minute mark of this half, only a five-goal game, so plenty of time for the Trojans. I do appreciate how patient San Diego State is being on offense. They are really not rushing. They're getting all the way through their progressions, yeah. which is what you want to see as a coach. Unselfish play as well. Yeah, really sharing the ball. Oh, good take. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I thought he called that way. I'm like, he wasn't even near the ball. <laughs> Good hustle by that long pole there. There you go. Here they 
go. USC is content to attack the short stick. Oh, man. Got to keep the ball on your sticks, though. So I'm looking at the roster here, Mikey, when USC is on offense right now. And my loose count is three freshmen, two sophomores. That's that's what I'm saying. Like they, they it's <laughs> these a young guys, team. These and I don't. And again, I don't, I'm not knocking anybody. I don't know if it's from the injuries, but they're getting some playing time, and that's how you get better. Yep. You know. 100. percent Oh, that's a great take. And I'm not writing them off for the year, but dang, they're going to be scary in the future. Yeah, that's the blessing in disguise if you're a coach. Yeah, you know, of course, if I was the coach, I wouldn't say that ever. But as an observer, you're like, whoa. All right. <laughs> Coaches, we put our hearts into it, and especially at this level, you're not thinking next year. You're thinking, I want something now. Right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's one of the sweetest finishes I have seen in a long, long time. From Brian DeVito. Hit him with a little Canadian egg roll. That's Huang on the dish. Always looking at the crease. Whoop. Oh, hey. the backhand. Okay. I have his second goal of the day. Man, Els is going to see that one in his nightmares for a little bit because <laughs> – that ball was that ball was in the net and, and Els was still going down trying to find the ball. That was crazy. Nifty goal. Wow. That's probably one of the best ones we'll see on the night right before the halftime buzzer. The state's not done. They want their freebie. They want their freebie. Oh, they don't get it. That's okay. That's is that one and one four one tenth? Or four tenths? Or four oh no, four Oh, 14 tenths. I couldn't even read the damn clock. <laughs> okay, we'll have a clock reading session at halftime here. If anybody wants to tweet at us. The first question we had, though, was how is producer Joseph doing? We do have a new producer on our telecast tonight. And the early, uh, well, you know, it's too early. We don't want to offend him. We have to get through the third quarter, and then we'll, we'll read him later, folks. So we're going to step away for at least – Seven minutes, 35 seconds or so, maybe eight, 8.05. We'll be back with more second half action.
And we are back, returning from our halftime siesta. Cool. You might have caught some of those replays and that very fancy running behind the back goal. As you called it, Mikey, a... Yeah, that Canadian egg roll was nuts. <laughs> that just makes me giggle when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nuts. The ball didn't hit the ground at all. It was just seven yards of pure flight from the, from the no-look backhand. So again, tweet at us, at SLC Lacrosse. S-L-C-L-A-C-R-O-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Tweet your thoughts or questions. Or nice comments only. It's Good Friday. And we are back to it. Another big one for Roper. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Come out and answer the bell. Riley Booth does the dirty work on the rent on the wing. Fakes the pass to the point and steps into a, steps into a clean one. Oh, he takes well, way he's back the, on he's the, the beneficiary of the dirty work. I apologize. But he pump fakes the point, buys just enough time for an 11 yard heater off stick. That's what you want. That's what you want if you're uh, if you're Blake Roper. That's another reason for you to just keep winning these faceoffs. San Diego State gets one here, though. So if you're just joining us, after one six four in favor of San Diego State, halftime score was eleven five, and now eleven six. Matt Holman alongside Mikey Diggs here. TVX video crew, as you see there. And we are at San Diego State Camp, San Diego State in the home white. USC in the visiting, what's that, Trojan Moon? No, it's... Um, Cardinal? No. Is that what they call no, it, or no, is that no, Stanford? Not, that's Stanford. It's not Cardinal. Hey, Toe Drag City. Who was that? Let me give this man his props. Sebastian Rodriguez on the toey from heaven right here with the long pole. His sideline loved it. Good grouping of parents here. Actually, the crowd has quite filled up since the first half. Friday night, not much to do on the Mesa. This is what they call this, the Montezuma Mesa. Something to do, come out and watch some high quality cars lacrosse. Uh, oh, errant pass. Yep, those, those are the ones you got to clean up. Good hustle back from USC, though. Oh, I don't know about that one handed hatchet, though. Yeah, not a fan. No, as a coach nor player. Looking for a foul, though. I mean, it's. Oh, oh. oh. There you, go. you wanted that <laughs> he one. He was definitely going with the You wanted that down. one. You almost had it. That's what we were talking about. The poles have a green light. And you know what? They don't. They get one shot at it. They don't get it. They turn around and run back. I can respect that. Yep. It's the guys that hang around too long. You know, <laughs> like you're not gonna post them up. <laughs> Just you get one move and you go. <laughs> Stage Just you getting its nice fifth and off. easy. Six offensive player on. Oh, great find! Nice save from oh, Els. Oh, underneath. It. Oh, he lost it. Whew. That was a good save. Huang had him dead to rights, and Els came out with a big one. We said it before, but the confidence is growing in that young goalie. Gotta love that. He's starting to direct traffic. Clearly he's in tune with the game because he makes a save and you can see him just spunk up right away, you know? Gotta love a, gotta love a confident goalie. That's when they play the best. There you go. 13 on the goal. Get to the middle and pull it. Stewart Diffley. 
Portland, Oregon product. With his first of the night. He's like the oldest player on the field. He's a junior. <laughs> <laughs> Playing like it. Jab, stab, gets in the middle. Teammate clears through for him. Slides just a tad late. Tough to figure out those slides when you're going side to side like that. You got a player moving through the middle. I understand. Got to clear early. Great pull, though. Off stick low. That will go. Yeah, slide's coming right at his face. That's a terrible angle. There's Rober. Rober's eating him up today at the X. San Diego State's trying to say we're standing pat at 11 here. USC's playing for its life. Quite frankly, San Diego State is, too, because it has a couple more, couple more uh, conference games that they need to take care of here. The SLC Conference in Division One has eight teams, and four make it to the tournament. Cool. So uh, the coaches voted on that format, and they like it, and it just makes every every uh, in-conference game that much more important. And scheduling, oh, little backhand shot. Scheduling as it was this year, most of the teams are now these last three weeks of the season playing all conference play. So it's it's going to change every three days. Yeah. <laughs> After every every Monday, it'll be a new 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 grouping. So the game matters. It's kind of fun though. Good team defense from San Diego State there. Probably going for a moving pick here. Yep. Yeah, that's about right. Good team defense, though. No slide, just a simple switch. Keep playing six on six. Force violation. Oh, wow. What a handle. Woo! Ooh, nice save on the doorstep. Highway robbery from Els. <laughs> Huang's about sick of that, man. That's the second time he's been stoned like that today. Look at this. And look his at third this, chance his defense this, bails him and out. He runs it out. And he gets the run out. <laughs> that was my man. You were on fire right now. Outstanding. Outstanding. Get up for that one, kid. A little Tillman Johnson fist pump. I need it. Well, now you're going back to a, That's my favorite my goalie oh, ever. Oh, yeah. That's right. You told me that. One man show. I would buy tickets to any game he was playing forever. I don't care if he's playing Masters right now. I'll buy a ticket to watch Tony Johnson. I'll tell you, when, when I played and your goalie was excited, and I, I was a not, I didn't need to get, like, I just played, I enjoyed it, but it's always fun when your goalie gets jacked. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, look at, you know, look oh, at so and so. Yeah. He's doing it. Yeah, when your goalie's up like that, you'll eat a shot for him. Or at least I would. So. I'd love to see my goalie get, get pumped up like that. Runs through the double there. Oh, two hands on that. Oh, that's going to be OB yep. if they don't. There we go. Let's see what we got Classic here. Classic two-on-two -two drill. A lot of space. Yeah, yeah he makes a smart play. So just now that we're subbing out here, uh, earlier action today, Concordia is back on the East Coast this weekend, playing at second of two. Came up short by a goal I'm looking at here to Liberty, 10 to 11. Uh, but they made the trip back there. Two close losses for them, playing Liberty and Virginia Tech back-to-back. -back. So Concordia will make its way back home for Easter. And as I said, when they come back, they have nothing but conference games left. It's a heck of a trip just to come back to conference games. Yep. Nothing easy in the MCLA, especially in April. Great pick action. Oh, White's in the crease. Yeah, I got away with one. Good pick action on the ball. Got to turn into something. Turf monsters getting everybody on these. Yeah, fans ups. wanted a trip, but I definitely didn't see it. No, just just tripping on the turf. It's that classic playing contact sports where you're expecting more contact than you get, so you kind of just fall down. Mm -hmm. Brace for the, the thing that never happened. Right. Oh, great move. Game moving shot by Booth. Didn't quite get close enough to the middle of the cage there to make that one go. 
Oh, I know they like this. Got the shorty by himself up there. State gets out alive. Loose ball in front of the cage. Got it up and out. If I'm, if I'm the San Diego State head coach right now, we've been doing a little too much running this quarter. Let's go ahead and get a spin. I'm talking 200. Find the shortest they can go. 200 meaning spin the ball around the field twice to the same spot. Yeah, Huang won't won't rest until he gets gets his uh, gets his lick back on L's after getting stuffed <laughs> within five yards two or three times in a row. Ow! That's okay. That's why you got arm pads on. Oh, that's a good take. That's okay. L's is up to the task. Forced the shot wide. I believe they call that a dugs in the lacrosse community. Watch your mouth on this Friday night now. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua on walking the line there, see if he can get his own. Els goes up to it. Els is up to it and tells him to try again. Oh, what a take. Evan Dean almost put, almost puts Els on a poster. But Els' best friend is there to make the save. Crossbar. Not sure of it. The Aztec coaches were yelling for offsides there. It's actually a will of box coaches right now. Who can jump up and down more over there? <laughs> I'm staring at the, the two box coaches. <laughs> like, it doesn't help when you do this, <laughs> unless they're just cold. <laughs> Could be part of it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I never wanted my box coach to be jumping up and down next to me. That's a great stick by Josh on. USC gets the ball right back. Ah, that's a good look through to the point. Just needs to be a, a little He's bit crisper. Sides. Yeah, he ran off sides there. Coming up on the four-minute mark of the third. Feels like they played a lot of lacrosse. They're up and down. Goals are scored. It's been a lot of running this yeah. half. A lot of scatter. Scatter. And you said it before. What's gotten San Diego State here so far is patience on offense. Yeah, they'll, they're going to continue that. You know, it worked for them in the first half. They found all the looks they wanted. Yeah. Especially in that little three-goal run that you got four-goal cushion now. But I think it was a three-goal run in the at the end of the first quarter that got them this cushion. Nice fake. Fake jump shot. Yeah. I don't think that was really a fake, more of a check. That he was like, let me play this off. Like it was a fake. <laughs> more of a, I shouldn't have shot that. Let yeah. me just find the next pass. That was not going anywhere. <laughs> Well, USC starting to sniff out those the the first couple looks in the uh, in the progression here. That's the second time in a row that they uh, they, they shut that out. back shoulder pass yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. pop off the drag. They're they're shutting that down now. 
No answer for the juke, though. Old school juke. Goalie's making a good run out case, though. He's getting. <laughs> Got to appreciate he, that. He's fast in the foot. Oh, shot clock. Yeah, and they'll okay. lose the shot clock. They'll punt it. Yeah, I think if, if USC connects the dots on a couple of possessions and, and makes it a close game, you know, they uh, they got Roper winning a lot of face-offs right now. So I would definitely not rule USC out to come back and really make this a, a one-goal game yeah. sometime Seven, in the fourth quarter. 17 and a half minutes to go. It's plenty of time. Heck, the way they're getting up and down the field, we should probably see another five or six goals. Go. They start connecting these dots. Great save. USC gets the rebound. A little hockey stick save there. Yeah. <laughs> One hand. Yeah, however you get it done, right? <laughs> kind of slow motion. It's <laughs> like, oh, I actually knocked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good hard dodge. Oh, I wanted to see him take two more steps. He saw that slide coming. Yeah. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. No way. Oh. oh. Ho, 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 ho. That's a great effort from Chris Alcaraz. Coming down to 10 on the shot clock. <laughs> Got a lot of pick games happening in the middle. See if that one gets through, and it does. Oh, it does, yeah. That's Chris Alcaraz getting what was rightfully his after missing, <laughs> that, after missing that last shot through three cats. And, it, and Manhattan, New York product there, as we talked about earlier in, at dinner, all the different areas the kids are from from both teams. That's a great, you see how he just shot it overhand? Just yeah. basic, just catch and shoot it overhand. Well, with that many people in the middle, that's the release that's going to hide the stick the best. Well, it usually is the, the, the release just, that hides the stick the best, accurate. especially with that many people in the middle. You come all the way through, his release point was down. Here's your face off again. This time San Diego State controls it so far. Oh, oh that's Aaron dicey. Oh, oh. Yeah, Hedberg wasn't having any of that. Let's get this ball out of here. You know that I would say it's the Instagram highlights that are making kids, you know, shoot sidearm when they shouldn't. But oh, I got to no. tell you, it was way before Instagram where we were shooting sidearm shots when we shouldn't. <laughs> yep. So let me shut my mouth. <laughs> Listen. It's not TikTok's fault. someone that was raised at overhand shooting, and I did start to shoot. I, you know how many? I, I just kept working on it, working on it. But still, overhand never fails. Still, my favorite shot to this day. And what I learned from some some guys when I was at Syracuse for that brief moment, they were shooting overhand, the same motion, and that ball was releasing straight. It was going down. It was going straight down in the ground, and, like, and it was the same motion, and that was the thing I picked up. And it was mostly the guys from, uh, I'm not going to say mostly, it was all the guys playing upstate New, upstate New York lacrosse. They all were taught the same thing. You cradle up, straight up and down, and your shot looked like a pass every time. And it would be like this, and it would go straight out. It would be like this, straight up. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, they got something I here. I tightened up my pocket because that's the other thing. If you have a bag, you can't do that. What do you got to do? You got to bring it all the way back here. Yeah, what stick string has definitely come a long way to yeah, the, all the enable the versatility geez. in shooting. But Now I sound like the old guy going, yeah, you guys in these sticks today. The ball <laughs> just stays in there. You, know, you don't even have to cradle it. <laughs> I imagine what y'all could have done with these sticks back in the day. Yeah, have an SDX Sam head beating on you yeah. <laughs> with a wooden shaft. <laughs> it's not it's not much of an advantage if everybody has it, you know? <laughs> no. So. so with that, trip down memory lane lane. We'll stay warm here, loosen up. 11-8 ball game. Quarter number four coming back to you in 45 seconds.
Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of this lacrosse contest. Mikey Diggs and I'm Matt Holman, and this is TVX Video Production. And we are here at San Diego State. San Diego State drew an, a goose egg in that third quarter, which is something we haven't seen in our three trips here. Yeah. Two trips here. Never seen it yet. I did three, you did two, yeah. In, in fact, the, thir the four third quarter has been the one they've scored almost 68 goals each time we're here. Yeah. So that's a plus, and that's a big win for USC, getting a 2-0 quarter, making only a three-goal game with lots of time. Another huge face-off from Roper. I mean, he is he is killing it at the X today. He is – him and uh, – he and Els are two huge reasons why USC is in this game yep. for uh, – for some missed opportunities on offense, you know th their defense. That was some of the best defensive lacrosse I've I've seen in in the SLC this season. In that in that third quarter, I mean USC was really sniffing out a lot of the looks that San Diego State was looking for. Well, you called it. You said they, you know, they're picking up that that uh, progression read and stopping them on the first, second, and uh, into the third look to where it more of a, a scramble for State to get off a shot. So mm -hmm. they're they're making them play. Ooh. Oh, man. Hedberg staying tall there on the pipe. Love to see that from your goalie. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, USC's defense is making San Diego State play all the way through their progression, all the way to a point where it's a scramble. You know, they get their, their second look, their third look, and it's just not there. And then they, they got to scramble from there, and they're forcing bad shots on the end of those. So if they can keep that up in this quarter, uh, get a couple quick ones, it's going to be that close game we were talking about. So we'll see what happens here on this patient. They still have 23 on the shot clock. So patient offense. Looks like they know that. And working it through. Oh, a little fake there. Oh. Good trail check. Find the ball. Find the ball, though. Find the ball. That's failure to advance, or it wasn't, that shot was clock. a shot clock violation. Yeah. He gave the failure to advance call, but shot clock violation. Even with the loose ball, since there was no possession. That was a good hustle back right there, the midi. Yeah, Brennan Calgie on the clear there. Oh. Another hustle play. Now the question is, does US USC have the legs left from, from from what you got here. How deep can you go into your young bench? Yeah, that's what we got to see from the midfielders here. Yeah, I feel like this, this midfield group is just out, so we'll see how these guys do. Seven right here is getting, he's tired. Oh, two men in the same yeah, spot. Yeah, that's, that's not, not going to work out. Two men means no men. Oh, that's not an illegal body check? I don't know about that they one, sir. Kind of rolled into him, but then they landed on him, so you could get a loose ball hold there, if anything. I don't know. He's hurting, though. Good, ri good ride from USC. He definitely fell on his stick or some other part that didn't feel good. Huh? Oh, a little yeah. hook? You, you yeah, I think hook? so, too. I think so, too. Yeah, because he went down. Advantage, disadvantage, so he got disadvantaged. Yeah, and the Aztecs will try to argue their case, but uh, we had a pretty good view of that. It looked like a hole to you. Or were, are I they calling that a slash? I wouldn't call it a slash. See, I would have called it a hole. I thought he hooked him. But maybe he got him in the head when he went down. So I No never, way. They gave him a slash. Yeah, I don't mind a defenseman just... I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know. But if if that's if that's what Hedberg was upset about, now I understand because I yeah. didn't I didn't see a slide. I did I, see a I hold. Had a hold. But again, maybe when he hooked him, the stick came across the mask. But yeah, I mean, I think maybe that's why I like the refereeing of professional lacrosse because you know I guess. A prof I think a, a pro ref might just call that a hold because the hold led to the slash. And oh, here we go. Woo! 
No, 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 no. He landed in the he landed in the interior. Oh, they yeah. they landed in the goal mouth, huh? Yep. Yeah, he was fully in the goal mouth actually. But State's gonna waste this play. Oh, Ooh, almost oh, got geez. there. Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah. He, so the the ruling is, you land in that goal mouth area, uh, which isn't. You can't see it really from here. Oh, you can see it, and he was clearly in there. Two thirds of his body was in there. Even though he didn't make contact with the goal, you can't land there after the goal. So good, good pickup. And you can see no one argued it because he was in there clearly. <laughs> I must have just ignored it because I always thought the crease inside the crease is dumb. But yeah. that's just me. Yeah, it's the safety thing. Yeah, my argument against the safety thing is either allow crease dives or don't. You know, it's that's like what, you're only allowing a halfway saying. crease dive, which yeah. I don't understand how that makes sense. Either either it's legal or it's not. I All don't right. get it. So back to live action here. Quick look at that replay. It's turned a little sloppy. Yeah, he's getting tired. I agree. State is now back to even strength. Yeah, which becomes a, a good kill for them. They needed that kill. Yeah, so I take it back. Actually, being ugly during man man down situation is not bad at all because you kept the other team out of their rhythm. Oh, sticks got caught. That's a great read by USC on offense. You heard uh, the Aztec uh, defense people calling AJ, AJ for an adjacent slide, and uh, that's where the cut came from. Caught saw the adjacent slide was creeping out, so he got right behind the cut. Look no further. I'm wide open. Just got a can it. That's all. Great stick. That's a great tip. That's a great tip by the Aztecs. I'm not sure who tipped that. Low shot clock. Doesn't matter. Just tip it. Now that flag was a little weak. Tick attack, tick attack, as they say. Tick what, what was the call? I, I didn't see it. What do you think they're going to get him for? Hmm. A slash. I mean, at this level? Right, that's what I'm saying. And there's no obstruction. There's no. What did, it wasn't malicious. See, I, I would call that, personally, I'd say this is the bad check. <laughs> right. Not, not. And ball don't lie, Dylan Pitts gets in there and jams one home on the bouncer. Right. So Aztecs the goal, go. they went a good uh, 20 minutes and three seconds without a goal. The old speed dodge, bouncer to the top corner. The old just run right past him dodge works every time. You, you're glossing over my stat. Did you hear that? 20 minutes and three and four seconds without a goal. Oh, wow. Luckily, because it happened at 10.03, and I can do the math. 15 minutes plus five. You know. <laughs> Actually, I got it wrong. 14 minutes <laughs> 57 seconds. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 19 minutes 57 seconds. Jeez. That's hard math. I Whether it's 14, 19, or 20, that's entirely too long without it's a goal in a lacrosse long. game. <laughs> yeah. So the Aztecs went a long time without a goal. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> they that. they needed that one. Uh, I just hear a USC timeout. I did. So USC will take its first timeout of the second half, and we will gather our thoughts and be right back in about forty-five seconds. You got to have chapstick when you're out here. This is a requirement. 
this brisk, windy weather. We know. We are live here at San Diego State. Friday night. Things are getting kind of loopy. I haven't checked the Twitter. I, I really hope there's a something. Oh, can't see. Meanwhile, Mikey, Mikey's still tweeting about his dinner. <laughs> I did take a picture. If you would like me to tweet the picture. I saw you take a picture and I I just bit my tongue. I'm like, let him, he's probably, you know, send it to his wife. Had to let her know we got to cruise by the spot. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad I could share it with you. Thanks, Matt. It was a, it was a lovely meal. I mean, thank you. Oh, lost him. Ooh! What a shot by Stewart Diffley off the roll. Diffley sent that slide on his merry way. Watch this. He's that slide. Bad angle. Wow. I'll take that. Top cheese. Wow. That's the sec third quarter in a row that USC scored first. Or er, scored first in the first. First and third and first and the fourth. They're earning it. They're coming out hot. Start got, of that quarter. I'm full of quirky stats today, apparently. Oh, no, they didn't score f first and the fourth. They oh. did. I forgot. Sorry. Who doesn't love a quirky stat? I know. I'm just trying to stay warm. Oh, the TLN guys got you out here on the Twitter sphere. Those are my people. Uh, they used to be my people before they were your people. That's true. <laughs> wow, the circle of life. They were the, actually they were TVX people. They were all three of us: TVX, <laughs> Ted, I, and the co original founders. Ha had a nice lunch downtown one day, and Shazam, Wamma, Zuma, Zuma. Never heard that one. I know. I just made it up. Oh. Technology took over. Oh, watch out! That's not going to end well. Uh, so, yeah, and more on that Concordia game. That was actually an overtime game. Ooh. Where they tied it up with 106 left in regulation. Whew. That's, that's, that's a tough one. Yeah. Never liked those rides home. That's a long ride home after an overtime but, loss. But as they ended this, and I can see that, you could, uh, you might see that. Whoo! Ooh, that's another one. USC's not done here. And that's Harry Hetrick with the overhand hammer from about 12 yards on an angle. Aztecs calling the timeout as we look at that. Absolutely. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful. And did he shoot it overhand? Location, yes, he did. Location. Oh, it's the last one. Oh, location. I missed the goal somewhere. You got 10. Four, five. Hetrick living that That's low the, pie or die lifestyle. It's only the second goal for USC this quarter, right? Yes. So I missed one in the third. 12-10. We started, it was 11-8. So, yeah, okay. My bad. Sorry, folks. Not that anyone can see my scratch pad. You know who does a good job of backing up coverage? I mean, obviously our, our man Jack Coyne does a great job for the MCLA. But varsity club lacrosse guys that all used to play. I believe it's a couple of people. They all used to play MCLA ball. They, they do a good job of carry, covering all the... They do good work. Yeah. They do very good work. I'm very impressed with their... Uh... I see them amplifying teams' messages all the time. That's the at varsity lacrosse handle. Excuse me if I said that wrong, guys. But... You guys do a great job. Keep it up. It's hard to curate a good audience on Twitter. 
Um, it's, I, it's not I'm, the ecosystem that's the friendliest for cultivating a, an audience like that. They've, they've been very, I very good at it. stay off of this. <laughs> if, the, the only reason I have this is because of this. You're not, I, you're not on not, the bird, Matt? No, I don't have it. Oh, I love the bird. I mean, uh, Holy Christmas. Oh, my God. That dish from Jeffrey Huang will go down as one of the best dishes of the year. He wanted to throw that. He wanted to throw that dish about ten yards before he threw it. He wanted to throw that dish now. He waits another 10, 15. Oh, here it is. Yes, sir. Snuck it right wow. by that defense. And yeah, and that's not to that's not to shake a stick at the finish. No, from Evan I Dean. I can't see his number. Oh, you got the number. Evan Dean's in the right place. Hey, fake high finish low, kids. The Aztecs coming out. Three goal game. Oh, great Ooh. save. Great save from Mills. Oh, great footwork oh. here on the sideline. Has he toe Wow. That's my man Rodriguez doing it again. Toe drag king. The Trojans are fired up. Everybody, this is great lacrosse right here. Yeah, both teams, both teams trying this. to figure Look out its this. time. Both teams figure out its time now. Oh, 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 I thought we were going to have a nasty body check there. <laughs> I'm glad he let up. I'm glad he realized what was going on. We have to have somebody call the help. Sidelines are getting into Everybody's up for this one. Good pick up. Oh, no. Unforced errors. No easy buckets. San Diego State's catching fire now. They needed that one too. This is Joey Grzetic on the drive and on the drive and finish. Push it back out to four points for San Diego State. Ever since we made the overhand shot comment, it was like we were in their huddle. And a lot of good stick faking. Overhand shots will go to the end of time. Yep. True that. Sneaky good call there. A lot of people aren't going to like that one, but Roper was holding that stick right as the ground ball is going out. Ooh, that one's going to come back to bite USC. Four goal game. Got to have those clears. As San Diego State makes it easy. Smart. Ooh. Smart, Goose. Woo! Wow. Smart play. Smart play with a backup to just shoot it. Here's your classic four on three. Brian DeVito. This ground ball right here, just knowing your teammates there. That's an 18. Yep. Great that's job. A, that's a great shot yeah. from a bit of a tricky spot to pull that. But when you got your classic four on three right there and you have your backup built in. So he pulled the stick back, though. Mm -hmm. Came across. Not much, not much a goalie can do with that. So four quick goals by the Aztecs. Doing their best to extend the lead to five. With just coming up on 5-10 to go.
Why isn't there college box lacrosse? I can tell you why. Where are you going to get the stadiums to play in? That's problem it's number one. Expensive. Got to get the barns. <laughs> oh, great move. Great pull. Els is there, though. Oh, good eat. San Diego State gets the rebound. State set up in a 1-4. They'll attack from the wings here. I want to give a shout out, Mikey, real quick to all the seniors in the SLC. I see a lot of the teams doing their senior tributes this week. Uh, to all those seniors that had to stick it out, had COVID disrupt their, their, you know, what should have been nice for maybe four and a half, five years of lacrosse. Uh, you know, best of luck to you with grad school or wherever you're going to do, jo work, job, travel. Good job, seniors. Because I know I would have trouble if you had told me I had to stay home for two years straight yeah. or a year and a half, you know. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. It's hard enough watching your uh, lacrosse career come to an end when you had your full four years, but uh, have one or more than one of those years kind of cut shorter taken from you and that's hard yeah it's a weird really feel for everyone involved weird, weird way to go but good job seniors all that's my public plug for the night now the question is are we going to get to Pancho via market in time for the soft bread cookies after this <laughs> I just hope the two for five taco window is still open when we get there. That is closed at 7 p.m. Oh, you know the time. <laughs> yes, I've been there and I've been mad. <laughs> You're a regular patron. Yeah. We're <laughs> oh. You can't eat after sundown? Is that what it is? Oh, fasting day is Good Friday. Mm, sorry, folks. We've just been talking about food this whole thing, too. But the sweet bread cookies at Pancho Villa Market, if you're in San Diego, folks, they are delicious. Mm, <laughs> delicious. It's at El Cone Boulevard and the 805 Freeway. You will have yourselves a good time. There's got to be, yeah, there's a lot of swinging going on here. Well, a lot of great defense before that, though. Yeah, but that was good flag height on the foul, too. Got to love some good flag height. I don't, I, I can't get with a ref that doesn't know how to throw his flag. So you got to teach them how to throw their flag. Surprised that's not hereditary, you know? No, it's like baseball players don't know how to slide. No, 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 no. I worked with some refs, and I'm like, what, what, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> you got to throw the flag in the air. It goes in the air. They throw it down on the ground like they're mad or something. I'm like, no. I would take your flag throwing class, man. I would take that class. I give it to Juarez Newsom, who strives to put like five pounds of rocks in his flag so it goes higher so he can throw it high. <laughs> Game's not impossibly out of reach. No. Rovers win a lot of face-offs. Let's see if USC can, can cash in on up. this. Yeah, let's see if they can cash in here. Make it a, make oh, a that was a, good save. Was a good shot. Yeah. Hepburn's hype about that one. He knows that's big. About 45 in the penalty. Let's see if they have a little 30-second play. San Diego State fans are letting them hear it down there. <laughs> They're right here. Let's say my con they must have heard me say that no one went to happy hour because they, they got happy hour going on down there now. Well, San Diego State's pushing out a lot for a man down unit. Confidence in your goalie, yes. Love to see that. Here come the skips. And what they're doing is making USC kill this. 
you know, five goals in a minute 37. Now it's kind of like, yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, they had to get one. If they had gotten that one right before two minutes, oh, that's a beautiful Ooh, shot. Pull. We had a great angle. Great pull, Harry Hetrick. I have Hetrick with a hat trick. <laughs> Hetrick with a hat trick. Uh-oh, we lost power. Well, we lost power for a second, but you can still hear us? Oh, okay. We just can't hear ourselves. I can do one ear on, one ear off. I can hear you. Oh, save. Great save by Hedberg. Well, now it's a matter of SDSU just running the clock out. Yeah, they're about there. Sorry for that interruption, folks. We lost power on our monitor. We thought it was our mics, but it wasn't. So life is still good. And Randall, we're okay. We can the, just we'll just go this route. San Diego State makes a great play here, and they're just gonna, they're just going to kill the clock now. Yeah, fifty. Now you just don't want anybody getting a stupid penalty or hurt. This is the point in the game when when some fans will yell like the defenseman's checking them hard. I'm like, well, stop running at the goal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not going to not play. Right. That's a good timeout. I mean, it's one thing if you run to a corner and you're standing there and the guy hacks at you. Yeah. But like, if, you, if you're, if you like, running even remotely toward the goal, of course they should play you. Right, right. <laughs> it's crazy. Triple so zeros, we have, no? Okay. Yeah. We have a timeout. We'll go ahead and take a quick 30-second break, and we'll be right back with the last 25 seconds of the game. All right, we're back for the last 25 seconds here. We want to thank everybody for watching. I think it was an outstanding game. Great effort by USC. I don't see four goals being scored when you don't have the ball and there's only 15 seconds left. But this is where you just want to run to the corner. There you go. That's what you want to do right there. Yeah, and San Diego State is in full kill mode. Yep. No, 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 no. Maybe he meant to miss that. <laughs> I hope that's shot. what he's going to say. He's like, Gosh, I, just, yeah, I saw left. our teammate back there. <laughs> that's good. That was a great game. And, and I think both teams should be proud of what they had. I mean, I, obviously USC was short. But as Coach told us, they were shorthanded coming into this. Uh, I don't think – I think SDSU has to win – well, they want to win – more games, obviously, but I think conference-wise, they got to win one more conference to make sure there's no tie or anything like that. One more conference game, I should say. Um, but and Mikey, since you know we're half out of power up here, so say goodbye to your people. Yeah, uh, San Diego State looked real goodbye. good tonight. They earned that win. Um, USC should be proud of the way the way they played defensively with. Uh, the firepower they had and getting 11 goals. Sometimes that's enough, but sometimes it's just not. So There is a critter in the booth. Great game by everybody. What is that? <laughs> a, I don't know. There's a flying critter. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sign off now. <laughs>
Oh, there's a bat on my shoulder or what's we've, going on? We've lost Mikey Daisy's <laughs> I smacked it. I don't know where it went. Uh, there's some kind of flying critters here. So thanks for watching, folks. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, happy Easter to everyone. Happy Good Friday. Happy Easter to all you who celebrate. And uh, just have a good weekend. Have a good weekend.